Hey, hi guys. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how you can download and process the hyper spectral imagery using the InVis software and detect the minerals, uh, location of the minerals present on the ground earth. Okay, uh, open your favorite browser and uh, search for earthexplorer.usgs.gov and go to the login section and login with your own credential. If you do not have an account, create a new account. Here I have already an account. So uh, enter your username and password and hit over the sign in and you get the interface like that and it first uh, zoom over the area of the interest I am zoom over the uh, India portion here <coughs> okay and uh, this is my and uh, just left click on the uh, map section and and draw a rectangle like that and go to the date range and select for the and i'm selecting the 20 2011 january 1st to uh, 2020 uh, january 1st okay uh, 2020 uh, january 1st and and then go to the dates okay uh, data section and go to the eo first and click over the eo first hyperon data set and click over the results and you can see the one scene present in this area uh, okay uh, go to the and hit over the download uh, buttons and you can see all the different format of the uh, um, hyperspectral uh, you can diff, uh, download it is in the sdf format uh, or l1 gst and l1 t product uh, in the GOT format both in the GOT format and you can also download in the high resolution um, jpeg format or something like that i i'm i am i have downloaded one fast gst uh fast gst GOT format and uh, okay and also i also downloaded those both of them and go to the download section uh and I think yeah, it uh, it it get automatically started here. You can see, and I, I downloaded the both the uh, both of the imagery, but first one is taking some time. Uh, okay, let's wait. Okay, uh, my second imagery is uh, getting downloaded, and okay, uh, let's wait until it get finished okay and click on the open with folder and right click over here it's a zip file go to the extract the file and hit okay yes and open the folder you can see all the different bands of the um hyper uh, multi-spectral data set and go to the data manager section and click over the open and go to the download sections and uh, visit uh, go to the folder that you extracted and click open the, the tiff file and the inb software automatically uh, detect uh, it's the eu first heparin data set and it uh, uh, open the data uh, in the one raster format yeah you can yes yeah you can visualize here uh, uh, all the data uh, data all the um, t file uh, open in the one single file that is stack file and if we take over the data manager folder you can see all the different bands in in the single data set and some of the uh, yeah these these are the bands which are without data so it so the warning in the uh, bands we do not have the data at all and we have to check the uh, with the whether the present data set have the best quality or the not uh, so um, we are going to uh, right click, click over the image and go to the um, band animation and uh, using the extreme viewer we are uh, going to detect the best band for the uh, for the analysis so that we are going to remove the some of the bands which do not carry any information or which are carrying the uh, carrying some noise information you can see in the animation tab here uh, the noise in the uh, noise uh, noise uh, some of the band only contains the noise so we have to remove all these bands uh, which contain the noise okay I am checking uh, one by one uh, bands here uh, I think yeah, yeah the band noise band starts from the 122 I think yeah let's check again yes yeah. Yeah, 
it's yeah it, it starts on the 122 and i think yeah it um up to the 132 yes 132 or 33 bands so you have to remove all these uh bands uh, before analysis okay Go, uh, click over the file and save is and the save raster is in the format and here you, you select the spectral sub subset so that we are going to remove all these bands which only contains the noise rather than the information so uh, i am going to remove all those bands between the 120 22 to 132 yes and 100 yes 132 click over the okay and okay and give the output file name i'm simply giving uh hepron um uh, yes uh, hyperspectral uh, filter data yes the data ignore value is zero and you can see the raster uh, raster getting saved by removing these bands again uh, i'm going to check uh, whether the now whether there is uh, the uh, all other bands uh, contain the noise or not so uh, i again follow this step and uh, i filter all those data set until we get the best uh, product for our um, for, for the analysis yes let's visualize the last band yeah you can see some of the bands uh, um, still contains noise but uh, this band uh, this hyperspectral imager is ready for the analysis and go to the identify uh, go to the um, spectral signature corp section and um, and so the spectral uh, so the spectral but uh, this spectral con only the contains the radian so we can't um, uh, use it for the analysis um, without um, radiometric correction so we we are going to uh, quick atmospheric uh, correction we are going to apply quick atmospheric correction on the these uh, hyperspectral imagery uh, so uh, uh, source for quick qsc quack and uh, yeah run the on the tool uh, it, it is executing uh, it takes some time uh, please wait until it get finished i think yeah it is executing yeah. i think uh, this uh, uh, this raster or uh, this hyperspectral image is, is ready for the analysis yeah you can see uh, the sum of the familiar uh, uh, spectral signature curve here uh, but now the breakdown between the spectral signature curve is there is uh, the data uh, is missing in, in the, that region so uh, if we expand this like yeah the, it must be something like that something like that yes okay uh, go to the identify section and it is calculating the statistics for this raster and we are, and it give us the minerals are the object present on the um, on the earth surface yeah? location of the earth surface if we drag uh, the something like that yes it, it is uh, giving sometimes gra uh, uh, dry grass sometimes green vegetation and uh, and all the uh, and it returns the exact same thing uh, that uh, that is actually present on the ground uh, and if you are wondering how it actually works it is uh, uh, it calculates uh, calculates the spectral signature core from the actual raster and it compares the spectral signature core that is available from the usgs library and if you visit the library here and usgs uh visit on every uh, yeah uh, 213 data set i'm uh, i'm taking one uh, random uh, green vegetation uh, uh, vegetation spectral signature core and i'm, I'm trying to uh, trying to uh, fit both of the uh, both of the signature curve and it it, it looks similar here uh, so it uh, gave us the dry grass because the, the the spectral the library spectral signature curve is dry grass that's all thank you